Hello everyone. My name is Godwin Batageka and I'm really glad to talk to you today. Something that is on my heart today is the area of sharing your faith or what we call evangelism. When you go out to share your faith one on one, there are a few tips that are very important that you need to consider. First of all, you need to build a relationship with the person you are sharing with. When you meet somebody, it is good to first introduce yourself and get to know them. Get to know what is on their heart. Where, what, what do they do on a day-to-day -day basis? What is their church background? And then it's important before you launch into sharing the gospel that you take a diagnosis of whether they are a believer or not. And the way you can do this is by asking two simple questions. The first one is, have you come to the place in your life where you know for certain that if you die today, you'd go to heaven? And the second one is, if you die today and stand before God and he were to ask you, why should I let you into my heaven? What would you say? And depending on the answers that this person gives to you, what I would call the prospect, you can proceed to either share the gospel or ask them for a testimony if they have given their lives to Christ. Now, there are a few things you need to consider. If someone says they are sure they are going to heaven as the answer to the first question, then you proceed to the second question and they have faith in Christ, then you don't need to share the gospel. You just simply ask them for their testimony. But if they are, they are not sure they're going to heaven and if they don't have yet faith in Christ, they're trusting in something else or they are not even sure what are the requirements to enter heaven, then you share the gospel. And the gospel is, uh, can be summarized in just five points. The first one is grace. You share with them the fact that heaven is a free gift. It cannot be earned or deserved. You find this in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, that for, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9 says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of yourselves, it's the gift of God not by work so that no one can boast. Secondly, you share about man, the status of man, the fact that man is a sinner. When I talk about man, I mean both male and female. That's how the Bible calls uh, us as human beings. So man is a sinner. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Then thirdly, you share about God. God is merciful, therefore he does not want to punish us. That is uh, uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 8, uh, part B. But the same Bible that tells us that God is merciful also tells us that God is just, and therefore he must punish sin. The Bible tells us, for he does not leave the guilty go unpunished. That is in Exodus chapter 34, verse 7b. Now, there seems to be a problem. How can God be both loving and just at the same time? Well, that's a problem we seem to have, but not with God. For God solved this problem in the person of Jesus Christ. When you think about Jesus, what comes to your head? Many people know him as a savior, a nice person. Some even know him as a prophet. But Jesus was both God, or was and is both God and man. The Bible tells us in John chapter 1, Verse 1, that in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. Verse 14 of that chapter tells us that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And what did he do? He died on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins and to purchase a place in heaven for us. He rose from the dead and he now offers us the gift of eternal life. Then you can ask yourself, okay, now if this is what Jesus Christ has done, then... Uh, what do we need to do? What response do we need to have? Now, a response to that is what we call faith. Faith is simply believing, believing in Jesus Christ alone for your eternal life. And so those are the five points. The first one is heaven is a free gift, grace. Man, man is a sinner and cannot save himself. Then you talk about God, the fact that God is merciful and therefore he doesn't want to punish us. But God is also just, and therefore he must punish sin. Then you share Christ. Christ simply means, uh, I mean, the point of Christ stands for the fact that Jesus Christ is both God and man. 
And what he did is that he died on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins and to purchase a place in heaven for us. Then lastly, faith. We talk about the fact that without faith, you cannot enter heaven because you enter heaven through faith in Christ. And faith is simply believing in Jesus Christ alone for your eternal life. And after the person has understood that, then you go ahead and invite them to accept Jesus into their hearts as Lord and Savior. The Bible simply tells us in John chapter 6, verse 47, that truly, truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me has eternal life. That was Jesus Christ. So you lead the person in a prayer of confession while they will believe in Jesus as Lord and Savior. Thank you very much.